And today, we are going to be trying to unlock Roa Cassidy. Now, of course, sometimes the chat does not work, so I'm going to try doing that and see if that makes it work. Let's do a quick test here. There we go, big old grand hat. <laughs> big old grand cat has said hello. And for some reason, the uh, the audio decided to drop the second that I started the stream, so hopefully that comes back. Well, we've got the sound effects. Big Dog says morning. Oh, Big Dog has his rank on him. <laughs> he is, I think, up to up to officer rank or something. Very, very cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to here. We're going to go into the bundles and we're going to get ourselves a widespread rune. Yes, there's there's the uh, the Grand Cat with the WKC Championship. Oh, very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead here. We're going to get this for 950 gems. It will give us a widespread rune, and it will also give us 17 packs of the newest set. There it is, the heavy metal screen for Rush Duels. So I haven't opened any of the sets, so this is all new to me. We've got an SR Musical Princess Recital. If I'm honest, I wasn't that impressed with this set. I think there is a lot of better cards that could have came out, but the widespread ruin is absolutely very very much ridiculous, especially at this point in the game. It's weird not having the music. I'm really hoping that that does come back. We've got the babysitter goat, fantastic, wonderful. Oh, finally something nice. Let's see what it is. Oh, we got the Ancient Arise Dragon. Oh, that's very cool, actually. It's pretty strong. This is a miniature Blue Icebite Dragon. And you got the All Seeing White Tiger. And we've got another uh, SR. This one I think is pretty cool, actually. It's for Warrior Decks. Nice having active traps that can actually be used. And there we go, that is it for the 17 packs. Ah, it is uh, Fatboy, he says, it uh, looks like a Vanguard type game um, with its menu, awesome work boss. Uh, yes, this is Yu-Gi-Oh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links. It is one of the other games that I play, that I on occasion upload things to the channel. But for some reason the music has stopped working. I'm going to try and go into settings here and see if we can work out why. Hmm. It should be on. I see no reason why it's not. Hmm. Very strange. But we should have a widespread rune up here in our little menu now. There is our widespread rune card itself. That is the thing that we really cared about. This is very, very strong. Especially in rush duels at this particular point of the game. And we'll just try and receive all. There we go. We've got the widespread rune sleeves and everything as well. And we'll receive all and the rest of this, too. Okay, well, before we begin, I'm going to just close down the game here for just a sec. Let's see if that does indeed bring back... Oh, Alexi says hello. Welcome. Welcome, Alexi. Hello, Alexi. I have done the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link stream just especially for you, one of my... One of my biggest of the Yu-Gi-Oh! fans. And today, there we go, the music has now came back. And yes, there we are. So, we can now get into the actual proper live stream. So we are going to be trying to unlock Roa Cassidy to see. Yes, I did. I just bought the widespread rune pack, indeed. So... <laughs> 
You know what, I think during these little scenes here, I'm just going to turn off the commentary. But we will bring the comments back once the little dialogue is finished. I'm not going to, I'm not going to voice act. I've done that before in the past and it ruins my voice. So I'm just going to leave this here for you guys to see. So, there we are. Let's bring the comments back. So I don't know an awful lot about Rush Jules, but I think these two are siblings and they're both in the same band. Not exactly the best start, but... Uh, Alexis says Roa Roman. Oh, did the chat not work there? Hmm, the chat has stopped working. That is very strange. Now the chat has stopped working. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How atrocious. We'll just try and finish this very quickly then. Very unusual for the chat to disappear. Hopefully that comes back. So the idea of today's stream will be to try and fully complete uh, Roa Cassidy. Yeah, the true Hulkster is joined the chat. Hello, True Hulkster. Uh, we are having problems with the chat, just in refusal to show up. Hmm. It was working earlier, but uh, it is it decided to stop. Very strange. Hmm. Unfortunately, it seems that your chat isn't going to be active, but I am still reading your chat on the on the screen here, but it just won't be up on the actual screen itself. Very annoying. Oh, so it's the cousin. Okay, let's just, I'll try leaving it off for a little bit and see if it will come back in its own naturally.
so Alexa says, fun little fact, the, f- the game doesn't tell you, but there's bonus dialogue with the other characters you play as them in Duel... In Duel, whoever the event character is. There is a little uh, emoji fu- function here that cuts off just a little bit of the text, <laughs> which is a little bit annoying. But I'll try and read out the comments you guys leave for me. So... Let's try that then. Let's try going through the different the characters. I'll try putting the chat back on. <laughs> One row <roar> radius. <laughs> Alexi asks, what is one row radius? It is one radius equal to a singular row. Okay, let's try the other characters. Uh, how is the audio for you guys? Is it nice and loud enough? Do you want the music to be louder? Would you like myself to be louder? Let me know in the comment section below. Or the, the chat even. The chat which is in refusal to work for some strange reason. Alexis says audio is good. Excellent. Oh, Sheebs has joined the chat, says good evening. Uh, for some reason, Sheebs, the chat isn't working, the, the live chat. So I'm just going to have to read your comments off of the top chat here on YouTube. And the last one is Yuga. There we go. We have now taken a look at everyone. I think all my characters are all max level. I think they're all level 20, so I don't think it matters what one we play as. Yeah, 
Yeah. So we will play as Roman. For everyone just joining, the chat has decided to break. It is supposed to be working, but it is just as not, so <laughs> unfortunately that is what we have to deal with. I can still read your comments, so don't worry. There's no problems there. Alexis says, damn it, YouTube deleted my comment. Um, Alexis says, I'm a little disappointed I didn't find this out sooner. I found out about the extra character dialogues a while back. Hmm. I wonder what comment it was that was deleted. That's a bit unusual. YouTube has been acting a little bit strange today, to say the least. Everyone's wondering what I'm doing. Uh, I was summoning the Seven Road Magician multiple times because uh, I haven't actually summoned it a hundred times yet to get the playmat, so that's why we're still trying to do that. Ellie like says, uh, Was the comment I had to type twice, uh, it just put the sad emoji? Oh, interesting. Hmm. And Roa Cassidy now appears at the event gate. That is wonderful. That's what I was hoping for. So what we need to do here, we need to get him all the way up to episode 5, which means we need this many points. We're at, a, we're at 15,500 at the moment. And we need to get up to, I think that's 13 million or 1.3 million. But let's go ahead. Uh, we'll just go through this on triple rewards. And just play it very quickly, just a couple of times. Shouldn't take that long. Put on maximum difficulty and putting the rewards to a times three multiplier should certainly help. Oh, it's the big one. Let's watch the animation. I think this thing might be a bit of a threat because I think it can take out my big card if he tributed a five star or higher monster. But no, maybe not. Okay, not as much of a threat as what I expected. And there we go. Nice and simple. I'm 
Again, we're just trying some Seven Roads Road Magician as many times as possible, as well as Dying Keto, the Q Master. Okay, so before we do that, we're just going to continue doing this a couple more times. Just try and get as many points as possible so that we can all progress through the... Yeah. So that we can all progress through the story mode in one big go. So the idea is just get a whole load of points so that when we start doing each of the story missions, they all just like fall one after the other, without having to worry about any of the experience in the middle. The reason I press auto duel for that the point there is just for the speed. Seems we haven't actually flicked through the things. We've already seen this animation before. And that's completely fine. We've got a seven road magician, which is all we need. Again, I'm only doing this for the actual summon because we need to summon as many Savage Road Magicians and Dying Kettles as we can so that we can potentially get the playmats. Just try and deal the maximum amount of damage. There we go, minus 2200. Okay, let's take a quick look at how many points we're on now. So, we've done the points for that. We need just a few more to actually unlock. So, once we do that, then we'll switch to the story mode. We'll unlock Roa, and then we'll play as Roa for the rest of this. Uh, Fatboy says, I'm going to give this game a look. It looks very interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting little game. Nice and easy to play particularly with Rush Duels at the moment.
not the best hand in the world, but enough to clear the opponent's board and deal some damage. That's a little bit better. Some marginally better cards there. Now that should be enough. There we go. So it's 500,000 that we need to beat. There we go, we've got over the 500,000. So now we're going to continue the storyline until we unlock Roa, and then we're going to play as him for the rest of the event. So I think we need to beat Robin here. So let's try and do it the storyline way, where we'll, we'll do it with Yuga. Now let me just take a quick look at this deck and make sure that it is up to scratch. Yep, seems fine. Uh, these are a little bit weird, but other than that, it seems fine. I mean, I could put Widespread Ruin in here, but I feel like I don't really need to. So let's go ahead and continue. Oh, we can use the event deck, so yeah, let's go ahead and use that. And we'll just auto-duel this one, let the computer do it. Uh, Patrick Orm Ormirod? Orm E. Road. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, he has joined the chat. He says, Hello, welcome. <laughs> he says, Jesse, we need to cook. Very nice to have you in the chat. Welcome. Oh, we've got the big thing already. That's very cool. Uh, we had a whole. We had a bunch of high level monsters there. You know what, I'm not going to auto deal this because I realise that there might come problems, so... Okay, so if we go ahead and do this and then tribute you for the 6 star one... So we have to summon you... What is your skill? Right, okay, that's not required at this point because we've already got this in the field, so... I'm just going to do this instead. And we should now be able to activate his effect. And you're five stars, so we don't want to really go doing that, so we're just going to do that and then auto deal. Just let you declare some big attacks. There we go. Nice and easy.
Oh no, the hangry Roman. So let's see here, to complete mission 3 is probably to defeat Hangry Roman. Yes. So we'll defeat a Hangry Roman as well. Once the game decides to load. And we will auto duel with the brand new heavy deck as well. Oh, some skulls in the stick as well. That's interesting. So Roman and Hangry Roman are the two secret ones that we need to do for the little map. Hmm, interesting. If 
for hit. What is it we're supposed to do? I, I assume we were going to do that match and then it would finish it. Yeah, okay, just went against Rokasti. Yep, that's all we need to do. So, yeah. That was weird that it did the introduction twice. And a third time. So this should unlock Roa. And wondering why I'm doing these strange moves, it's just because I need to summon Dian Keto and Seven Road Magician as many times as possible to try and get their play mats. And there we go, that should unlock Roa. Alexi says poggers, or poggies even. <laughs> Well, there we go, Roa Caste has been unlocked. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. We'll try and do it without the shine. There we go, we got it. You can now use Roa Caste in his deck and his skill, Rush on Rebel Duel. And his main card is not included in his deck, but it can be added with the skill card. So now that we've got him unlocked, Let's see what his deck looks like, and well, I bet it's going to be terrible. Yep, that's a fairly awful deck. I wonder if there's anything of any use in here. I don't think there is. Nope. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy another deck onto this one. And we're just going to copy this one, Roman's Casty.
Uh, there we go, that is perfect. We're just going to save that. And let's go ahead and continue in this business. So, in order to get the playmat and the sleeves for the event, we need to do some things. So first of all, we can receive all of these. And we also got some other rewards there. Just grab all of the rewards. Oh, we've summoned seven road magicians a hundred times. Oh my goodness, we finally did it. So now the only one left to do is Dying Kettle, the Cure Master. So there we go, there is the very, very wonderful Seven Road Magician playmat that I have been waiting for to show up. There it is. Very, very cool. We've also unlocked Grow Casty. And we have summoned a level 4 or higher spellcaster monster four times in one duel, which has given us Awakening of the Charmers. And there we go, this is what it does. Reveal a charm monster or familiar possessed monster from your hand, return one card in your hand to the deck, and set one Awakening of the Possessed. From outside your deck to your field, the skill can only be used if you begin the duel with a deck, including an extra deck, that has all four of the familiar possessed of the, the four different types, and there we go. So that's how that works. Very cool. But we have other things that we need to do. So let's go ahead into missions and take a look at them. So we want to win one duel against Roa the Concert King to get the play map. We also have to win 10 duels while playing as Roacasty to get the sleeves. <clears throat> and we can also get a special skill as well for Roman. Hmm. Interesting. But we're going to try and get the playmat and the sleeves. We also have another set of playmat and sleeves, which is going to be hidden in here, which we need to get to 1300 in order to get the playmat. And... Was, oh, we've already unlocked the set of sleeves, so that's wonderful. Let's go ahead and equip those then. We also need to equip the legend draw skill. Oh, it's already equipped, which is... Wonderful. So we're going to change accessories into here, into... Oh, well, the shop is going to have the widespread rune. There's the widespread rune sleeves, which we're not going to use, but we are going to use the event sleeves, which should be near the bottom down here somewhere. There they go. And close, and we're going to save that, and we'll use the play map once we unlock it. So now the next point is just try and get uh, as many points as possible. So, first of all, we're just going to play against the Vagabond, <clears throat> and we shall... Actually, we can edit our deck now, because we don't need the Seven Road Magician. So we're going to take those out of the deck, and we are instead going to replace them with... These cards, the Prima Garantinas, or Guitarinas, even. And just in case, I'm going to swap out the Summon Skull for the White Spread Rune. Of course, you can only have one Legend card in your deck, so that's why we need to do that. And... I think I'll take out one of these guys for that. So there we go, that is my most up-to-date deck. And let's take on the Vagabond, just to get some, some big experience. Mm. 
And this is also our first duel with uh, Roa as well. Not a great start in hand. We've got three monsters that are tributes that we cannot tribute summon for. Wow, that's really bad. It's incredibly unfortunate to say the least. I don't think there's anything we can do about this. Because even setting that is absolutely going to be enough to kill us. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy that we got four of our seven star monsters opening hand. If we'd had two cards, we might have been able to do something, but no, unfortunately not. That was very incredibly unlucky, to say the least. Still give us 800 points. Now I'm beginning to wonder if Rua is an unlucky character. The character does not want to work for us. Alright, let's try it one more time. Against Celestia Nudla, of course, one of Alexi's favourite characters. <laughs> well, now we have the exact opposite problem. Where instead we have no tribute monsters, but at least we can actually get to draw cards. <laughs> Alexi says, "Wee wa woo wee." Feel like this is going just a tiny bit better. And we've got a multi strike dragon as well, which is going to be very helpful here. See, that's what was supposed to happen. Not having four cards that were unsummonable. <laughs> we can actually get a lot of experience here because I've had these things sitting here for a little while, so let's go ahead and get some big experience by dueling these vagrants over here. So this will give us 20 times experience. This is the biggest, most ex most experience you can get off of this. Well, at least we've got two cards that we can summon this time, so we can actually get out the multi-strike dragon. Even if we can't get out the primas just yet. Well, now we've got three tribute monsters in our hand that we can't 
unfortunately used, not without getting rid of our multi strike dragon, which we're not going to, so we're just going to do this instead. His opponent really enjoys gaining life. Perfect. Now we have a 37,000 attacker that can attack twice. And it goes all the way up to level 10 from that one fight. Uh, let's go for the 15 times multiplier now as well. There we go, we will just do that. So I only have one Dying Keto and I need to summon her 100 times to get her playmat, so I just need to keep her in each of the decks, so that once she's summoned 100 times, we will be able to get that. Um, Meltio says maybe only have two of each two tribute monster. After all, you can only have two of them on the field without a skill. Generally, having seven of them is completely fine in, uh, what is it, 40 card deck that we're using here? So, normally it's fine, it's just we got incredibly unlucky earlier, which really was quite astoundingly unlucky, unfortunately, but no, most of the time it's acceptable. Actually, I think if we just do this, then we just win this turn. And done. Because multi strike dragons are very, very powerful. So we got past level 12, which should give us our playmat as well. Now if we go into lifetime over here, there for reaching level 5 we've got the sleeves, for reaching level 12 we've got the playmat, for reaching level 10 we got the 50 gems. And there we go, there they are. So there is the playmat, there's the sleeves, and there's the 50 gems. Wonderful. So now that we have that, let's just equip this. 
You'll equip the new playmat. There it is. There we have a wonderful new playmat and sleeves. Oh, I see that the Vagabond showed up here as well. So let's go ahead and take him on. See if we can get some revenge for that first time. And we had four tribute monsters on, the, on hand that we couldn't use, which is very rude. Okay, once again we have the opposite problem, where we have we have monsters that we uh, <laughs> we we have no tribute monsters this time, so instead we just have to get a wall of fifteen hundred attackers. And that is also fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. I was thinking about using this skill, but we don't need to. We'll just do this just in case anyway. In case you're wondering why I got rid of the double attacker, it wouldn't have beat the opponent and I wanted to have the 1500 attacker on the field rather than the 1000 attacker on the field. That's what I was thinking about. There we go, We've got a solid wind over the Vagabond this time. Nothing like what happened earlier. And we'll introduce this so ugly since he gave us the match that time there. So we've won 10 duels but not with Roa. We need to win 10 matches with Roa as well to get his sleeves here. And then we also need to unlock the Roa, the Concert King, and defeat him. So we've won 4 games so far. Let's go into this and we'll get some more games. Um, <laughs> Alexa says you mean the Tag Force main character? Yes, indeed it was. It was the main character you play in all the Tag Force games. And that's why he has such powerful decks. Is nice to have, but against computer players, it's not really necessary. But against human players, it is absolutely devastating. Well, it actually works in this instance. Didn't even need the double attack there.
I really should be using the experience up gems. I completely forgot that they existed until just now. Perfect. I was quite confident that I had game there, so that's why I just clicked the auto at the end, just to finish that off. Oh, we got two of these, the Royal Rebels Growl, very cool. We only need a little bit more to finish this off. Now this time I'm going to use the gems now that I've remembered. I don't think we need the extra life but I'll grab it anyway just in case and we'll get the extra card as well. Right. Now we've got a mirror force. In order to tease out the Mirror Force, I'm going to leave the 1000 attacker there. So the opponent should hopefully summon some th a whole bunch of things in attack position, and then declare an attack against it, and then destroy their entire board. Oh, they've got the big one. Yeah, it's a good thing that we had that Mirror Force. Not the most helpful. For this isn't going to be enough. It's only going to be five thousand. Future royalty says hello, Grandcat. Hello, future royalty. Welcome to the stream. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. This is the other game that I play. I do play a couple of other games, but this is the other one that I upload videos about on occasion when there's a new character. Then there's a new character, so that's why we're streaming today. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. Okay, well, we drew into it out, so that works out wonderfully. says, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'll just be observing. Yes, you're welcome to do so. We are nearly approaching the finish. Uh, you just got out of school. How was school, future royalty? Did you learn anything of interest? And I think one more should probably be enough. Uh, future Royalty says, not really, just waiting to take the chemistry test I missed Monday. Oh my goodness, you missed it. You must have slept in. I too would sleep through a chemistry test. 
if I had the option to do so. And I would look at that chemistry test and say, mm, no. Now, if your old says, out of town, and cry emoji. The chemistry is hard, I promise. <laughs> well, we've got a very cool monster reborn. So let's go something like this. Uh, Big Dog says, talking about sleeping, I'm off to bed. Good night. Well, good night, Big Dog. Thank you for coming along to the stream. And uh, Future World says, good night, Big Dog, as well. This is a little bit of a different stream, because I don't normally stream Yu-Gi-Oh, but... We'll see if you guys find this interesting enough. If you do, then I may do more Yu-Gi-Oh! streams in the future. No oh, good, we got a wedge for That's nice. So, uh, let's use Monster Born and get back something big. I'm thinking I might just steal this guy. Just on the basis that he's 2500. If you're trying to say so, are these streams once per month? Um, really, the streams kind of happen when they're required. Like when there's a new card, when there's a new event, when there's something special that I think people might be interested in seeing streamed, that is when I'll go for it. And that wasn't enough. Oh my goodness. I really thought that would give us enough points, but it didn't. I think the next one should. We're on. We're just under 100 and we're 1.2 million, we need to get over 1.3 million, so hopefully the next one should be enough. Ah, okay, so we don't have enough, we don't have enough of the Roa coins any longer. So we need to play some games just to get more Roa coins. I think the Roa coins are called uh, Microphone. <laughs> oh, because I'm monster reborn, um, the Heavy Metal King, that counted as me summoning it. That's quite hilarious. I think for a majority of these I could probably just click auto duel, but I prefer like actually clicking the rush duel to actually play the game. Because otherwise you're not really playing the game, you're just letting the computer do it. Okay, white spread rune's pretty cool. Uh, Alex says I like to hop on whenever there's a character unlock or read duels. Um, <laughs> Alex says sorry, I keep typing hope instead of hop. That is all right, Alexi. Having the Multi-Strike Dragon and the Prima Gatarina is one of the strongest combos you can currently do in the game because having a 3400 attacker that can attack twice is generally enough to finish off most opponents. We're 
we're getting closer to it. We'll do this one and let's rush deal this one as well. Using the uh, the heavy metal deck. We'll see how many times we can get out the heavy king himself. Okay, well that's not the best effect, I don't think. But it's still an 1800 attacker, so that's what we're going to go with. We got much reincarnation. That's interesting. There's multiple legend cards in here. Hmm. That's not how that's supposed to work. Is there any monsters in my graveyard that actually want that hand? I mean, I can technically do this. There we go, finally got the big one. Oh, and we got the thing for defeating Roman Casti, which gives a whole bunch of gems. Now we just need to make Hangry Roman show up once again. There we are for summoning the heavy metal twice. We got 10 gems, and we've also got the leaves for winning 10 games with Roa. So I'm just going to auto you a couple of these. <laughs> Alexis says yum yum lovely gems. We're just going to auto them for the sake of speed. Just try and get a few of these out of the way so we can get some more of the Roa coins. 
so that we can get to the 1.3 million. Nice and simple. One without any tributes whatsoever. Very, very strange. And we've also got Roa already up to level 15. Level 20 is the maximum level for anyone at home wondering. Let's see, we have 59 microphones and we need 120. Because okay, so we are just below the halfway point. Okay, I'm not going to do all this one, I'm going to just play this part out because we want some of the dying keto and the computer wants some of the dying keto. I'm just going to do that. Uh, like I said, that's always been a problem with the AI in Yu-Gi-Oh! games. They won't play the one card you want them to play. Example of Chaz in the Tag Force games will never summon the Arm Dragon level 10. <laughs> Very rude of him. So we now have 83. Speaking of arm dragons, uh, let me just show you off a very, very cool arm dragon deck of my own. We're going to take one little quick break from Rush Duels in duel. and jump over to here. We can claim these microphones as well. Uh, also with this game they have a problem with synchro summons. They're interesting.
Maybe we'll do this one. If you don't know what I'm doing, um, don't worry, it'll all make sense in just a moment. And then let's go for the three level threes. So now that we've got three darks in our graveyard, we can special them Dark Arm Dragon. We're just going to use his skill to clear the opponent's field. Then we're going to special summon Arm Dragon level 10 white by getting rid of the level 10 that we sent to the graveyard earlier. Then we'll add White Veil to our hand. And we'll just equip that there. And there we go. We've got Arm Dragon level 10, which is Thunder Arm Dragon level 10. We've got Arm Dragon level 10 White, and we've got Dark Arm Dragon as well. Isn't that nice? All of the Arm Dragons. That's all I want to show off. Hey, we don't need to. So that's a powerful little deck, that one, the Arm Dragons. I just thought I'd show off to Alexi. The whole armed family, that is absolutely correct. All the big Arm Dragons went all the way from level 3 to 5 to 7 to 10. Then we brought out Dark Arm Dragon, then we brought out Arm Dragon level 10 white. So let's go back to Rush Jules, <laughs> now that we had fun with the Arm Dragons. And I reckon just one more here should be enough. Uh, White Veil is a very risky card. You take damage if your monster is destroyed. Don't worry, your monster in that game probably won't ever be destroyed because Arm Dragon level 10 can destroy monsters on your opponent's turn. And then Arm Dragon level 10 gains a 1,000 attack. So it becomes a 4,000 attacker, clears your opponent's field, and then you've still got Dark Arm Dragon should you need it, if it's even required. But generally, you just win. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and do this. This should, in theory, finish off the majority of the event for us. Just going to equip everything. <laughs> Obelisk the Armed Dragon. That is exactly what he is. He's a very, very powerful card. We got a heavy storm this time. Well, may as well use it. What did we destroy? Evil Star Beacon. Hmm, okay. So Yeah, no, I think we're fine.
Perhaps we should have saved the heavy storm. And there we go, that should get us up past the playmat, which is all that we care about. And we've got the third one of these. So we've got all three of them, should we need them? And there we go, we've got the playmat that we wanted. That should also unlock episode 5. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Some interesting backstory. Um, it's Seto. Oh wait, Otis. <laughs> it's Seto backwards. Uh, fun fact, Otis backwards is Seto. <laughs> yes, I had already worked that out before you said it. Okay, so we just need to win this one big one. And then we'll get the second play match from this event.
And that was the best move I could do there. Okay, we've got a multi-strike dragon, good. We are able to do things now. And that should do it. And there we go. We have got the second playmat. The Royal Rebels. There they are. That's all of them. And now we just need to inflict 666 effect damage <laughs> in dual world servers in order to get into the next level. Did we get something else there? Did I miss something? Is it maybe in lifetime? It is in lifetime. Well, because we reached level 15, we get the Roa icon as well. Uh, Meltio says, can't wait when they add fusion. That's going to be interesting. I wasn't even aware that fusion was a thing in Rush Jules. But that'll be very interesting to see. We've only got two of these palace gargoyles, so that would give me a third one if I do that. Although I'm not sure if I particularly care. I've already got three of these guys. But I think in terms of everything, that is me just about finished up with this event. Just going to go into deck settings. We're going to change the playmat. So there we go, there is the other sleeves that we got. And of course we got two of the event playmats right down here at the bottom. There they are, there is the Royal one and there is the Royal Rebels. I think I'm probably going to use this. And I think we'll use this set of sleeves. I think that looks nice. And... Done. Uh, what about the Roman skill? Um, do I want the Roman skill? Do I care enough? You got a few different um abilities here. Oh no, wait, it's in the events. That's right. Like, is, is this good? Just in case it does become good, I, I guess I'll go for it. So let's go ahead and grab that then. So playing as Roman, we need two comeback victories against Gavin. So in order to get a comeback victory, you need to start the turn that you win with less life points than your opponent. So that's what we are going to do. So, how do I do this? I 
I feel like for someone or anything too high level, the opponent isn't going to be able to get over it, so I think I'm just going to let the opponent attack me and just presume that I don't get uh, beaten. Uh, Meltio says there's also an icon if you wanted that too. I don't really care about the icon if I'm entirely honest with you. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, I don't think I can win this turn. So because I can't win this turn, what I need to do is keep the opponent on more than 3,200 life points. Which means I can only do one attack. So we're just going to do this. And then I should be able to win next turn, and I still have less life points, so it should still be considered a comeback. Now I could gain life, but I don't want to just in case that messes anything up, so I'm just going to just do this instead. That should be treated as a comeback victory. It was. Now we'll take on Gavin at the gate here. Now I'll just put it to level 20 just in case. I could probably put it to level 4 if I wanted, but I'll just put it on level 20 for just now. You know what, I'll leave it on Trouble Rewards. It doesn't matter. Personally, I think Miltio is uh, just enjoying the stream and didn't want me to end it early, so <laughs> we get to see some some additional matches here. So I am just going to actively choose to end my turn here, just to take some damage. So I'm now in 38. So I need to try not to do more than that. So we'll end there. So we're still on less life points. Okay. We have a multi strike dragon, that's good. Let's try that then, because we should be able to win with that. Nice and convincingly, and that should give us the skill as well. Oh no, it only counts as quick victory. That didn't count as comeback. I thought the requirement would just have less life points at the start of the turn. 
No, it was counted as a comeback victory. Whew, scary. And there we go, we have the brand new skill amped up. So there we have it. Very nice. The skill has now been obtained. And I think that is us going to be happily finished with this. Let's take a quick look in here. Let's take a quick check to here. So we can upgrade one of these to foil if we wanted. Uh, we could just get the third one of these. We already have more than enough of all of these guys. I think just for completion of sake, I'll get a third one of this. There we go, that has given us all three of them. And... Yes, there we have it. And there we go, folks. That is us. We've done everything that we wanted to do. We got Roa Caster, we got all the playmats, we got all the sleeves, and we've even got Roa up to level 15, so we got his own playmat and sleeves as well. So, there we go. I don't think there's anything else left to do. Uh, Mel Meltio? Is it Meltio? Is that how you pronounce your name? It says, maybe quick victory overwrites comeback, comeback victory. <laughs> Alex says now to get 6.8 million points. Well, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just continue playing all the way through until we get all the way right down to here, uh, just to get the icon or to get the completionist. But honestly, I am quite happy with where I am. We got three of every card. We got both playmats. Well, we got all three of the playmats, actually. We got all three of the sleeves and... We've unlocked Roa, and we've got the... We've even got the skill for Roman as well. So, I am quite happy. Uh, Miltio says, in the UI. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's still treated as a comeback victory. But, like, if you do it within two turns, then it says, you know, quick victory as well. But it is treated as both, because you did see that we did get two comeback victories with Roman Casti. But that is going to be it for this little stream, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. Now, if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.